Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia in season 5 episode number 3. Alright, the previous episode. Uh, the previous episode we saw like end of his part of the story, uh, like how he is struggling uh, for like to, you know, like to like how for having a conversation with his family and you know the stuff that he has been doing all this while his um, uh, son uh, Nasu is not ready to talk to him and like you know Endeavor is like because he has not con communicated with them properly he's unable to talk with him as well like you know not misunderstandings but like it's a weird atmosphere in the house and everything and but endeavor says that he'll try his best to like for to ask for forgiveness and all and i i hope like he like keeps his you know word and becomes the like number one hero that like the amount of responsibility that has fallen on him is immense so i hope he keeps uh his image not his image but he becomes that hero to the outside world and also to his family as well and then like uh, after that we got a little bit of a backstory of uh, all for one and one uh, like one for all the, uh, the original people who had that quirk the number one uh, like uh, the people who had them and like one for all uh, <coughs> he has um, you know like transferred his quirk from one person to another and another and Deku is I think the ninth one did yeah i think they said in the previous episode it was the ninth one i cannot remember yeah it was the ninth one so deku is the ninth person and like a little bit of backstory we also saw like how like they were brothers and everything we kind of knew about that from the previous ep uh, seasons but it was a little bit like you know more like uh like it, it described the whole situation a little bit better in that episode and uh by the end of it like deku got out of that uh like dream so yeah that was basically it the previous episode so let's see what this episode brings what this episode uh, is about so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with my hero academia season 5 episode number 3 all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Oh, this is the same scene. <clears throat> yep, he is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he is the ninth one. Yep. Yeah, and he made a small little army, you know. Oh god, yeah. I think, is this the time when he transferred his quirk? Yeah, this is the time when he gives one for all to him. There it is. Yeah, he's the ninth. Twenty percent. Yep. Yeah, and the glass crash, like, you know. Damn, the amount of power it was, like, radiating. The, the window just got broken. All right, here we go.
Uh. <laughs> I was like laugh at this scene, like you know, midnight kind of. <laughs> oh God. Oh, there are those like those two like are still in silhouettes like the last two you know people uh, who were the inheritor like in the previous episode we also saw like they were only silhouettes i don't know if that has some like special significance or something why they're not showing their faces this could be the quirk one for all Oh, he started running after that? Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, those like the last two people. Hmm. Damn, this is giving me some spooky vibes, like, you know. Okay. Best digits of one from. Okay. Learned from my oh. Oh, from Anana, I'm guessing. The power was given to him. Hmm. Yeah, singularity. That thing. No intent. Okay. Oh, did All Might not do that? Okay. Also, even Nana did not like experience this. Nana Shimura. Vestiges. Okay, so they're like, like remains of part of the power. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, yeah, an impossible dream. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I, I was also. Work singularity doomsday theory compared. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, he saw the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I said. Wait, All Might was there? Wait, that was All Might? I'll have to check that portion out again later on. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah! That's true, I never noticed that. <laughs> hmm. Oh god. <laughs> Flash, class A versus class B. Alright, so they're going to do some training exercises, I'm guessing. Huh. Wow. Ooh, winter version. Yeah, everyone's wearing. Oh, that's why. Like, Bakugo's costume is a little bit, you know, covered. Yeah, yeah. He needs to sweat, you know, for his uh, power to activate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Oh. Is this class B? Yeah, it is class B. The wave is definitely on our side, alright? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Damn, I need to remember this. Manga? <laughs> Wait, what is a manga? Whoa, a lot of them. Chop him. <laughs> Two votes, okay. Oh god. Chop! Chop! And... Oh, I saw I did it. <laughs> I saw I did it before. <laughs> uh, this is. Uh... Oh, Shinso. Yeah. He wants to transfer. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that's... But that, he's special, you know, the vestiges helped him. No one else can do it, I think, most probably. Yeah. Oh, also because of that. Yeah, that's true, you know, because of that brainwashing, he could see it. Yeah, these. Damn. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right, now this is the correct way. Um, okay, all right, all right. In a way, it's correct. Like, you know, like he's not doing anything. What can I say? What? <laughs> All right. Four on a team. Okay. Yeah. What? Like there'll be one person. Oh. Okay. Okay. No. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So think of the other team as villains. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Super cute prison. <laughs> what? Having a member of the team I need to fight him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. mm. <clears throat> oh, they're going to draw lots. All right. Class A versus class B. Okay, okay. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Back. Okay, uh, okay, all right, okay, let's guess. I'm guessing he'll be in class B. Okay, all right, their team and fifth team, okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, so the, all right, they're fighting now. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm really curious as to how Shinso is going to use his power, you know, in fighting. Like, this is like brainwashing. So, how is he even going to, like, like, you know, while fighting, they want to talk with each other. Okay, that's understandable. What? <laughs> hmm. Oh, is that so? They were able to... Oh, like they have experience, like class A has experience, but they are more like versed in combat. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, that's true. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, those are like the... Oh. Uh... Oh! Oh no no! He he got the two of them. God damn! Oh god! They let the gun. Uh, yeah, guard down. Um, beast. <laughs> okay. His physics strength, hearing, spell, and sight. All right. Oh. 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 What is this? Air prison. Oh. What's the mask? What? Yeah, how? Oh! Damn! Okay. Wait, I'm a little bit confused. How did he do that? Like, he said that he talked with my voice. I, I'll check that portion out again later on, uh, after this uh, ending ends. <clears throat> One thing I can, like, really, like, tell is that like, there's no one who is strong or weak in this show. According to circumstances, any power can become one of the strongest power. Like, you know, like as we saw in this episode, because they, like, lowered their guard. Like, the strong, like, uh, Denki and, like, 
Kirishima as well. Like they were almost going to get wiped out. Like we've seen how strong they are. But like because they let the guard down for a second and like the other team had a better plan. Like the strategic use of the quirks is the main thing in this show. Like that is one thing that I've like like you know seen for a long while. Which I really like because there's no such like you know power that is like oh this power this is the strongest power no one can defeat him like you know so that's something that i really appreciate all right that's the end okay first of all what was that like what did shinso do just a sec uh, here it is Okay, I noticed that. I, I, during reaction, I did not no notice it. <laughs> he mimicked the voice of the guy. And he was on his back, the, on the beast, you know, uh, the beast guy's back. And like, uh, Shinso changed his voice and told him that, go get him. And, <laughs> and the beast was unable to like properly understand who said that you know he thought his friend said that but actually it was Shinso <laughs> and he said like, okay you've got it and he answered and then bam he got hypnotized and um, I did not notice that at that moment you know uh, <laughs> like because uh, like I was like you know preoccupied with something else but uh, yeah now I see it so this is what he did so his um like he says persona corpse wait a minute um <coughs> excuse me he talked with my voice and that mask deku says my other vocal cords persona cords okay so i'm guessing he like that mask did something to change his voice into uh, the other person's voice i'm guessing and he used that to like you know <laughs> trick him but i don't know like you know like this power mm, at least from what i like i saw like we saw in this episode has a lot of disadvantages a lot of disadvantages like a lot of weaknesses for example he was able to trick them because there were two of them you know if a single person came he could not do that so that's one thing another thing that i am quite concerned about is like this is like a one one time thing he did this i doubt anyone will fall for this trick again i don't know so this is like a one-time thing that he can do like tricking others another thing is like um i don't know like he it needs an opportunity you know like they were standing and talking that was why he was able to use his quirk and trick them if this was some other villain who just came and started beating the other team up you know without talking or doing anything he could not do anything so these are the disadvantages or the weaknesses of this thing now i don't know if he has some other tricks up his sleeve he might have which wish uh, like obviously we um, i think we're going to get to see in the next episode he must have some other trick up his sleeves because this is not enough no only this thing is not enough it's quite like cool to see that yeah he is using his quirk in a pretty creative way like tricking others and like hypnotizing them brainwashing them and if like one thing i have to say like if this quirk works it's pretty damn strong like but the way to make it work is just like difficult most difficult part like if it it happens it happens that's the end the other guy will probably won't be able to do anything but the process to make it happen is the most difficult part of this quirk so like that's why like he said that uh like you know like uh like you guys are like blessed with good quirks technically not that they and like his quirk is pretty damn good as well like it, it's quite like extremely strong but the problem is that his quirk is um what can i say is not versatile enough like you cannot use it in each and every situation it's quite dependent on the situation itself so that's why i'm sure like he like got into a lot of like problems you know like for example like if like if like a villain comes who has like super strength or super speed or something and he is alone there like he cannot do anything 
so in most of the cases that's how it happens and that's how it goes the situation that's how the situation goes no, the villain won't come and start talking with you so that's why like he must have like uh, faced a lot of problems in his past we kind of saw as well like in the previous season so like he's so bitter towards the others as well because he knows that his quirk is something that is extremely dependent on the um like you know on the uh, surroundings like what is actually happening so yeah but i hope like he can make something you know like like somehow make this work like like i don't know like i i, I don't have enough imagination to say how he can make this work in a way where it will be versatile enough to use in any situation i'm sure they'll, they'll figure something out i don't know like the biggest disadvantage of this quirk is that the other person has to reply back like you know i think that is the biggest disadvantage if it was something like oh like the other person if he hears his voice he'll be brainwashed he would have been op like you know like he, he could have like washed the whole like stage with like his quirk alone he would have been like the strongest because like he would just come and like start talking and everyone will be brainwashed and that's the end so that's why i, I think like like obviously like that much of an op power will break the whole like power system so they did not do something like that they added a big disadvantage which is the other person has to reply which is one of the biggest disadvantage he has so like i'm looking forward to how he is going to you know like use like this power it, it's quite interesting to see like to see how he will like make this work i'm sure he'll make so this work somehow because he seems pretty confident so yeah and uh, yeah and also like i kind of like uh, like as deku said that he has uh, mr aizawa's bandages you know uh, around his uh, like uh, like neck or whatever so and uh, as they like said that he was like uh, you know like hanging out with the, like aizawa for quite a few days so maybe they were like preparing some strategies and like maybe aizawa was like advising him how to use his power or something maybe he has some kind of other plan you know so yeah and uh, yeah like this was a uh, like you know um, nothing much happened in this episode as well but i'm guessing in the next episode we'll get a lot of you know like <laughs> cool fighting scenes and everything and we'll see how much uh like uh, like class b has improved how what shinso does with his power and how like deku fights against shinso like deku is have will have to fight against shinso and the team so yeah and yeah and um also another thing we got to know in this episode was uh all might like talking with deku like he said that uh the first you know the first um uh like you know the person the, that is like all for one's um brother he never talked to any one of them never like you know he neither talked with um all might nor with nana okay um one thing uh just a sec okay here it is uh he, deku says that there were two i could not see at all okay i can kind of like i i mentioned this for uh, quite a few times that there were two persons who we were unable to see and and he says that you were kind of blurry too uh, okay like just a sec this guy the yellow guy that is all might I thought All Might was not there. You know, because All Might is still alive. So, okay, so Deku, one, two, three, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay, okay. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, like counting like that, Deku is the ninth one. All right, so that is All Might, the yellow, you know, the yellow, um, like silhouette guy. That is All Might. So, 
yeah it's, it's quite i'm quite curious like i i never thought that was all might like I, I never even thought about it so like you know what i was thinking i was thinking they were like standing according to the like the way they succeeded each other like nana shimura was beside uh you know uh, deku so i thought like maybe all might is not here because he's still alive and like nana shimura is beside deku that means like she is like the uh, the most uh, uh, like you know recent uh, successor and so i thought that maybe that's how they like arranged the ev everyone but turns out they're kind of mixed around so if all might is like is way uh, on the left you know so that means like uh, it's not how they succeeded each other like they're mixed you know mixed together all of the uh, peop uh, all of the uh, people who succeeded uh, so it's not that they are chronologically arranged so that was my mistake like i was under that impression so i never thought that guy was all might because of that you know because he's way on the left so i thought maybe all might was not here because he is still alive so that is all might and uh yeah like the question mark here is like why is he like that like it's like he is like glowing in a yellow thing everyone all the other people are extremely like you know you can see how they look like and all and they're extremely clear uh, all might is kind of blurry as like well but you can kind of make out his silhouette and the other two guys are like completely like unable to you cannot see who they are or what they look like it's just like the outline we have so that's a big question you know and the doomsday theory that they talked about is like uh, that's quite interesting i think they i thought uh, as far as i can remember they talked about this in one of the previous seasons as well like you know like how parent to child the uh, quark transfers so like it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger now, that's why like you know like end of her uh like you know like endeavor and um, uh, as far as i can remember yeah like endeavor married um todoroki's mom so that you know like fire and ice he can make a strongest work uh, combination a child so that was the main thing so so yeah like the kind of is you know shows that like one quirk like every generation the quirk uh strengthens and it gets strengthened and strengthened you know so it's quite interesting and like as i said like there will come one time uh, it will come a time there a time will come when you know a person won't be able to control his quirk because it's so strong and also another thing all might mentioned um deku's mom looks like nana shimura now that i think about it yes that is extremely true they really look alike in a lot of ways now i'm not sure like I'm, I'm not going to make some weird theory here but i don't know like are they somehow related or something like you know nana shimura and uh deku's mom it would be really you know um interesting if that is the case because that will mean that shigaraki he is also somehow related to Deku, that would mean. And they're like fighting against each other. I don't know, like I don't want to go into some weird like, you know, uh, like theory making uh, thing. Like I don't want that. So I'm sure we'll get an answer. Or maybe that's just like a thing, like that just looks like that's it. Like there's no deeper meaning behind it. Maybe I'm like trying to like, you know, too much to find a deeper meaning. Maybe there's no deeper meaning. They just look like each other. So yeah, but anyways. Mm. and yeah and then we like saw we saw got introduced to a lot of people here uh in b class and um a lot of i think characters who we saw kind of like was introduced officially in this episode like before this we were never introduced to all of the characters a few of the characters we knew for example that guy um what was his name momoe or something like that mom i can't remember the guy who like you know kind of like uh, is like too excited and talks about like defeating class a that guy the blonde hair guy like we all already knew him uh, and the girl i think her name was kendo who usually cat chops him <laughs> and we know tetsu as well we know that uh, uh, the girl with like the green hair the vine girl we also knew her uh, from the previous episodes as well and a few other characters we also knew the guy who made the air prison you know we also kind of saw him before and we also like knew that guy um that girl sorry uh uh ooh, like what was her name 
okay i cannot find it but yeah like a few of the characters we uh, only knew by their faces so they were officially introduced in this uh, like you know episode and i'm glad that they are introducing them but i doubt i can start remembering their names there are so many of them like when my hero academia came out i was really concerned as to will i be able to like like remember all the names of the like of deku's own class you know of class 1a i was really concerned i was thinking like oh my god so many characters how will i be able to uh, like remember all of these names but now we know everyone by their name you know so I mean, I'm guessing like if we uh, like you know hang uh, uh, out with these characters as well for quite a while, we'll also get accustomed to their names as well. So yeah, and yeah, that was it. That was this episode. So I'm looking forward to how Shinso is going to make use of his quirk. Like his quirk is a pretty strong quirk, but at the same time, it's not versatile enough. So I'm looking forward that like does he have any other tricks up his sleeve? So which I'm sure we'll get to know in the next episode. So yeah. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This was My Hero Academia season five episode number three, and I'll keep this day uh, when I'll post My Hero Academia videos, uh, upload uh, like each episode uh, this uh, day of the week. Like I used to do it on I think Sunday, but I changed the timing. So yeah, that's just something that I wanted you guys to know. So yeah guys thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you, uh, and uh, oh uh, like the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general i'll definitely be checking them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video uh, next week with another episode of my hero academia season 5 so until then goodbye and have a nice day